ओके हाई एवरी वन वेलकम अगेन टू योर पीडिया सो रिसेंटली वॉट हैपन आई गॉट लॉट ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट फ्रॉम बी टेक स्टूडेंट्स सो देर आर मेनी स्टूडेंट्स इन इंडिया हु आर नॉट इन वेरी गुड यूनिवर्सिटीज एंड दे आर लुकिंग फॉर अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू इम्प्रूव देयर प्रोफाइल एंड दे आर कंटिन्यूसली आस्किंग फॉर डिफरेंट रिसर्च अपॉर्चुनिटीज देर आर लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन इंडिया लाइक यू कैन गो टू आई एस आर ओ डी आर डी ओ दिस टाइप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट you can always work with professors from iits and nits who are working on some research project and you can improve your profile but this video is very very special for those student who are seeking for research internship and it is only for bachelor student not for uh, master students or phd student specifically for bachelor those who are in the third year or fourth year i would say of your of your bachelor degree so this video is specifically for them and what i'm going to discuss i'm going to discuss one very good international research opportunities research internship opportunities in in canada basically and uh, good thing about this research opportunity is like you don't need gre you don't need ilts don't need toefl just you have to apply it is very very easy and uh, it is fully funded in research internship you will get monthly stipend for this one and uh, you will get some money for your housing and all air tickets both way like from india to canada and canada to india you will get that air fare also and this is 3 month research opportunity uh, research intern uh, internship opportunity i'm sorry and uh, yeah if you want to improve your profile this is very very good you can explore this opportunity so without wasting much time let's explore this one so what you have to do on google uh, you just have to search this one mytex so this is one non profit organization based in canada and uh, you just have to write this one m i t a c s so if you click here on their website so basically you will get this particular page and uh, if you are student and exploring for research opportunities just click on the right hand side top corner uh, click on the student and after that just go to the global link because you are international student for canada so just go to their global link okay so if you click here so here you will get one page mytex global link research internship 2024 gi uh, gri that is basically global link research internship student call is now open you can if you click on this link and uh, this page will basically pop up so for 2024 if you are going to graduate next to next year if you are currently in the third year of your bachelors then you can explore this opportunity and uh, you can basically what you can do you can apply here so uh, before i tell you like how to apply step by step so you are currently in the august to september 2023 month and uh, here basically student application will open for international student if you want to go to canada without ielts without toefl exam so this is the opportunity for you and uh, if i go to frequently asked question i just want to uh, tell you about this uh, if you go to here applying uh, and if you see here uh, is a language proficiency score required for global link research internship so answer is no so they mentioned clearly on this on their website there is no ielts there is no toefl which is required for this particular internship and you can just directly fill the application form and you can go over there so let's see how to apply so you just have to click here on the apply now if you click here so this separate page will open so you can just go through the uh, basically requirements and all so india is a partner company uh, country you can see over here so india name is mentioned so if you are indian undergrad student you can apply for this particular internship and uh, yeah what you have to submit you don't have to submit high school transcript how high school transcripts means you don't have to submit 10th or 12th a uh, transcript just your bachelor transcript is required and this is a starting date uh so yeah what is the requirement you should move to canada i think many students want to do internship so the condition is you have to go to canada that is good thing for indian student you will get this exposure international exposure for 3 months and you can go there uh, they just mention be be fluent in oral and written language of a uh, project that is english so they never mentioned they need ielts toefl this type of score or gre they just told like be fluent in that there is no specific definition for be, be fluent so i think all of you are eligible no matter from which college you are so if you possess a passport passport that is re uh, required for this one and uh, you need one letter of recommendation if you don't know what is letter of recommendation you can always contact uh, mentors of the yourpedia you can connect with me also if you don't want, uh, if you don't know what is letter of recommendation but that particular letter you have to get from your professor 
in india okay so we will help you in that and you have to make a cv so this is a most important document okay so cv is always very very important documents many students they copy some format from the internet and they submit cv which is i would say it is very very bad uh, like every year i am going through a lot of cvs but i would say 90% cvs are very very bad students don't know how to present their information so this is one particular document which is very important and that will ensure your selection so if you don't know how to make cv again you can connect with your pedia mentors they will help you how to mention things so see like many students they don't have good projects they don't have good gpa but cv is completely a different thing you can project yourself as a very good student even if you don't have that much credentials so for that you need help of a mentor you need uh, somebody's expertise in that and uh, yeah what other requirement for this global link is you should be uh, at the age of 18 or more okay and apply to minimum 3 or 7 projects so uh, you can apply minimum of 3 projects which i am going to share in the next like what are the 3 projects which you have to apply and what are the deadline it is september 21 2023 so this is important for you till september you can fill this application form if you get stuck anywhere you can always connect with us and we will help you like how to fill this application form so now what you have to do first step you got uh, you have to go to the top on the very first time you have to register yourself okay first name email passport a uh, password everything you have to fill you will get some link on your email id you have to activate your account and after that you what you have to do you have to click on the login so i already made my account this is my email id so uh, i am basically uh, yes logging in so yes this is the again what are the uh, instruction to fill this form you already we already go through this one so just go to the project second one so projects so couple of many many projects are available basically if you see the number it is almost 3000 projects which are available so these are the projects floated by different professors of different universities in canada and you can apply for any uh, any of the projects so what they mention three minimum maximum seven so what you how you have to search the project for example you must know about little bit about uh, what specialization you want to gain through this internship because that is very helpful again for your masters and phd if you want to pursue so for example i am mechanical engineer i can't write mechanical engineering as my keyword so what in mechanical engineering so again me mechanical engineering engineering has three specialization manufacturing thermal and design uh, this is very broad and uh, what i am doing currently i am working on manufacturing engineering and in that i am particularly working on additive manufacturing so additive manufacturing is the keyword if you write here this is my specialization if you want to gain something uh, on additive manufacturing just write here and search and filter you will see like all the projects which are available in additive manufacturing that basically floats and uh, you just go through the details of the project and just say apply okay so it is add it to your list just say okay if you are interested in this project then finally you can go to application part on the top so this is how you have to fill the application very easy nothing difficult you just have to put your information first of all your personal information they will ask couple of things your name surname uh, gender date of birth country and preferred language so always put english then your passport citizenship which country from you are just check the boxes like you understand the terms and conditions and uh, then you can move to education you have to put give your academic record so no 10th no 12th only your bachelor's college okay so you have to put here then background and research interest so these things are important here saying general description of skills background knowledge and research interest so what is research interest if you don't know what is a research interest you can always connect with your pedia we will help you uh we have mentors from each and every department they will help you how to find research interest and all if you are from mechanical engineering you want to do something in manufacturing then you can always put your research interest as additive manufacturing welding technologies and then you want to work on ceramics so these are the basically research interest which are for only for mechanical engineering if you are from other department just let us know we will help you in that okay and then uh, your achievements you can write about here there are couple of questions which is basically uh, you can see over here couple of questions so you can just uh, you can just uh, check the answers whatever you think is the correct and after that uh, you have to write about your experiences if you uh, like 
select how you heard from my uh, about my text so you can just say you search from my tech website or facebook twitter youtube you can just put that if you're watching this video i think you are getting to know about this from youtube so you can write youtube over there and uh, are you available for 12 weeks in summer of 2023 i think indian students are always available to go for can to go to canada so you can just say yes then your academic reference that is the professors if you don't know how to make lors how uh, if your professor is telling to you to make one lor just let us know we will help you in making the lors uh then nothing just acknowledgement you can say yes okay this is very simple and finally my projects so whatever projects basically you selected in the previous slide you can it will appear start appearing here so you have to select minimum of 3 and maximum of 7 so you can just you will get the list over here and uh, finally documents it will ask you for resume and your btech transcript once you do that save and i think your form is done and uh, this is basically how you have to apply for mytech international research internship without any ielts without any toefl without gre so this is a very good opportunity if you want to uh, develop your profile always go for these type of research internships it will help you later on to get some fully funded masters in canada in us in european countries wherever you are interested but yes uh, this is how you have to build your profile so i will come up with these type of content always be on your pd if you have any question just write on the comment box and if you are stuck somewhere in this process or you don't know how to make documents how to make cv how to make uh, sop these type of thing letter of recommendation always connect with your pd mentor form is in the description you can always fill the details we will uh, basically approach you back so thank you very much for watching this video we'll meet again thank you